Emily. <clears throat> Ten years ago, our love story began. And from the moment you accepted my challenge to words with friends, I knew there was something special about you. I told my friends I was going to marry you because I was in awe of you then. I'm in awe of you today and will be for the rest of my life. You're incredibly kind, caring, generous. You have a huge heart and being with you makes me a better person every day. Three years ago, or give or take, Emily came to us and said, I found someone very serious I'm willing to make a lifelong commitment to. And we weren't that sure, all right? We just weren't 100% comfortable. We didn't know anything about him, didn't know his family, and we knew you liked your independence. And treasured your morning coffee without being interrupted. But you ignored our parental advice, and you went out and adopted that dog. All right? <laughs> When Chris proposed to M, and they texted our family group chat to spread the news, I will never forget what Chris's text said. He said, I'm gonna be a Chauvin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got screenshots as proof, and Chris, you finally are. <laughs> Emily is one of the most generous, kind people. She's obviously beautiful inside and out. You know, love is kind of a, complicated thing, but we've been through rough patches and I can't believe the day's finally here. Promise to always appreciate your patience. I have seen so much kindness and how patient that you are, and I really admire that about you more than you know. I promise to always put our family first, keeping in mind what's best for you and I as a family, and what it meant to grow up and be a part of families as amazing and loving as the ones that we come from. I promise to always encourage, support, and listen to you. I vow to appreciate where we came from and the versions of you I have yet to know. I loved you then, and I love you now, and I can't wait to love you even more. Kid, I had a perfect view of you for the ceremony, and I could see in your eyes how much he means to you. And the first time we met, I could tell back then how much you meant to him. Um, when you first came to visit us in Tribeca, uh, I could tell that Chris was ready to dedicate himself uh, and his support to you for the rest of your life. I love you both so much. I can't wait to see what life brings you. And I'm so happy we got out of that shed alive to the bride and groom. <laughs>